This is Dr. Christian Cox, and I'm just going to walk you through uh, the first thoracic case. We start with a chest x-ray on this uh, older female who's presenting with uh, shortness of breath. And in this study, we see complete whiteout of the left hemithorax. And when you see whiteout uh, of a hemithorax on chest radiograph, the first thing to assess is the direction that the mediastinum is moving. So if it moves away from the opacification, then it's some sort of space occupying process, like a large pleural effusion or a very large mass. If it's moving toward the opacification, as we see here in this chest radiograph where the trachea is deviating to the left and the mediastinum and heart are moving off to the left, this means that there's volume loss in that left hemithorax, which is uh, likely due to a central obstructive lesion. So we would recommend a CT here to evaluate for a left mainstem uh, obstruction. The patient was presenting to the ER and had uh, shortness of breath, so a PE study was obtained. And looking at the uh, vascular window, that we don't see any evidence of a uh, pulmonary artery filling defect to suggest pulmonary embolism. But what we do see is the left main stem bronchus, which is narrowed and thickened, and as it goes out laterally, is blind ending. So we have some sort of obstruction of the left main stem bronchus. Here it is likely due to a left hilar mass, which is obscured by the surrounding pulmonary consolidation. The left lung is diffusely consolidated with minimal uh, air filling uh, bronchi, but it also has some patchy areas of kind of atypical air, which makes you think that uh, in the setting of a central obstruction that this patient has a post-obstructive pneumonia uh, on top of that. If the pneumonia is uh, lipid laden, then it's something that's called uh, golden pneumonia or endogenous uh, lipoid pneumonia. But at the very least, we've got a central obstruction with a post-obstructive pneumonia, and then we look at for adenopathy, and here we see a large subcarinal enlarged lymph node. We've got left paratracheal, lower left paratracheal lymphadenopathy that blends with some left uh, or AP window adenopathy. There's also right paratracheal adenopathy. And anything to the right of the far left trachea is considered right paratracheal. So even though this is in front of the trachea, it's actually considered right paratracheal. We go up superior and in the superior mediastinum, we have another right paratracheal enlarged lymph node. And then uh, in the superior most mediastinum, in the right tracheoesophageal groove, we also have enlarged lymph node. So uh, this is highly concerning for a bronchogenic carcinoma. The patient did undergo bronchoscopy, which demonstrated a left main stem bronchus uh, non-small cell lung cancer. Uh, the patient was treated with antibiotics. A follow-up PET-CT was obtained. Here I'm just going to overlay uh, the PET images onto the CT so that it's a PET-CT fusion. And we're going to notice as I scroll down through this, uh, multifocal areas of increased uptake within uh, the bones. So first we're going to pick up something in the uh, left humerus over here. So there's a hypermetabolic focus in the left humerus again. 
on the contralateral, we're going to see some focal in the right humerus. Uh, and actually, if we uh, if you look at the bone density in the background, so if I essentially take away this pet image, you can see that the density of the bone on that in that area is also increased, indicating a uh, bony metastasis. As we continue to scroll down here, we see our hypermetabolic lymphadenopathy, the AP window, the right paratracheal, the left paratracheal, and then that all is going to blend into uh, hilar adenopathy and a large left hilar mass. The consolidation is decreased in the left lung with treatment, but there is still a fair amount of high uptake at the left lung base that uh, is related to post-obstructive pneumonia. As we continue inferiorly, we see hypermetabolic lesions within the liver, and if you've been looking at the bones throughout the thoracic spine and sternum and uh, other areas, there uh, are multifocal uh, hypermetabolic bone metastases. So, and all this is a patient presenting with a left uh, hemithorax whiteout, which is secondary to a left mainstem bronchus uh, malignancy uh, and a post-obstructive pneumonia with PET demonstrating the metastatic disease throughout the lymph nodes as well as bones and liver. Thank you.